There is a big misconception when it comes to the difficulty and importance of being able to photo stack your image. And in this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to actually take your photos from on location all the way to post processing to make sure you get full image sharpness. So what is photo stacking? Photo stacking is basically merging multiple images that are focused at different points to make sure that your image has full sharpness throughout the scene. For example, this is an image that I took on my recent trip to Kauai. This is Ho'opi Falls and a beautiful multicolored Hawaiian hibiscus flower. And in this photo, the flower in the foreground is actually only a few inches away from my camera, whereas the waterfall in the background is 50 to 100 feet behind my camera. So there's just no way that I'm able to get everything in focus in one photo. So that's where focus stacking comes in. So I took two images here and I did edit these a little bit, but basically what you're gonna wanna do is that you're gonna wanna take multiple photos at different focal lengths in order to get everything in focus. So for me, for this photo, I only needed to take two. So I have the foreground in focus where the background is out of focus here. And in this photo, the foreground is out of focus, whereas the waterfall in the background is in focus, perfectly in focus here. It's very simple. So basically you're gonna pick one of the images that you want to focus stack, and you're gonna apply the edits that you want to apply to the whole image to that one image. So I had just done some basic edits. So this is the raw file and I upped the exposure obviously a bit, increase the contrast, decrease the highlights, increase shadows, whites and blacks. I just go through and did some basic edits, a simple S curve, and then also add your masks here. You can always go back once your focus stack to image is fully in focus. You can put it back into Lightroom and you're able to add more adjustments. So, but for now I just added um, some basic masks, a vignette, a custom vignette, and then the sun. And this, these were the edits that I put on. So here's the raw and here is the edited version, the first edited version. And we're going to want to come over to copy. And basically what you're going to want to do is that you want to check all. So check all, make sure all masks, all effects, all the crop, everything is checked and then come over to copy. And then over here, this will actually be already pasted on here, but I'm gonna wanna go to paste, and then it should automatically paste. Obviously I had this pasted already, so let's just replace these and everything should be pretty much the same. Yep, everything, everything is the same. So now these two images should be exactly the same, except for the fact that parts of one image is in focus and parts of it is out of focus. Next, you're gonna to wanna to make sure all of the images that you want to focus stack um, are selected, and then you're gonna to wanna to right click, go up to edit in, and then scroll down until you see open as layers in Photoshop. So this will basically load all of your images that you selected into Photoshop as separate layers. And this is gonna make it super easy to blend all of those in Photoshop. So after everything is loaded into Photoshop, you have the top layer, which is the foreground focus and the bottom layer is the background in focus here. So basically you wanna select both and you can just do that by holding down shift and then selecting the other one. You wanna go up to edit. And just to make sure that everything is aligned, you can go to auto align layers and just keep it on auto, no vignette removal and no geometric distortion and press okay. And there it's going to automatically align the layers for you. And then with both of these selected, go to edit and auto blend layers and make sure that it is on stacked images, not a panorama and then seamless tones and curves and content aware fill are selected and press okay. And so basically what this is gonna do is that Photoshop is gonna look at both of your images or all of your images and select the sharpest parts of each of those images and blend them together to make one seamless, fully focused image. So now if we take a look at this image, you can see what it really did. And if we turn this off and just select the layer mask, you can see that it selected mostly the foreground and a bit of waterfall actually that got in focus and it merged it with this, which is the rest of the photo that was in focus. So then when you put those together, 
you get a fully in focus image from front all the way to the back as you can see which is much much better now the best part about this is that if you go to file and save the image and then exit out of Photoshop, you will get brought back into Lightroom and it'll actually make a merged image in Lightroom. So now you can take that fully focus stacked image and edit to your liking. So this is the before with just the plain photo stacked image. And then I just added a couple masks and did some retouching on the saturation and the dehaze to make it a little bit softer. And then I did add a whole bunch of masks I added a bit of dehaze and brought down the highlights of the waterfall. I'll just do a before and after of just the masks there. I really accentuated this, the sun coming through. I really wanted that light to shine. I decreased the saturation, but brightened up the flower. So it pops, but it's not too, too much. And it also just softens down the image. And then I also tinted the greens to a bit more uh, yellow up here and then had a little bit more green pop over here and added a bit of contrast. So what is the importance of this? It's just a really good thing to keep in mind on the field. So if you have something that is super close in your foreground, just focus stack all the way from the foreground to the background so that you have full focus throughout your entire photo. So if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, I have other tutorials as well as print sales on my website. I also have a neat weekly newsletter that I upload blogs, special deals, and YouTube updates as well. So if you feel so inclined, please comment, subscribe, like, and share with your friends. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one.